Just about 10.30. That means it's time for some Celebrity Dish. All right. We got Alex Talbert in the house hey. this morning. What's going on? Hey, friends. Oh, it's going good to see you good again. Good to see you. I'm finally back. Finally yes. back. It's been a little minute, right? It's been a little minute. Okay. It's but good yes, to see you. I'm going to definitely invite you guys to the new event for okay. Kitchen and Cocktails by Kevin Kelly. Okay. okay. So please come out June 15th. Kitchen and Cocktails by Kevin, Kevin Kelly. Kelly. Just yes. because oh, of the wow. alliteration, I'm going to I know. I, I know. The name alone got me right. sold. Oh, yeah. That's, that, we're, we're there. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, you ready to get into it? I'm ready to get into it. All right. First off, if you were wondering how Nick Cannon spent Mother's Day, it, it seems he got just a little confused. <laughs> <laughs> we want to bring in producer Chris for the details. Chris, what was the uh, confusion about? Well, every single time we've talked about Nick Cannon, we've talked about to Nick Cannon, every time he's been on the show, Wisdom asks the same question, and it's how he juggles multiple women. And apparently, when it comes to Mother's Day, the answer is not well, because he made the mistake that I'm sure anybody juggling five, six women can make. He, on his podcast yesterday, said he had the right intentions. He wrote letters to each of the women in his life detailing what they mean to him. However, he made what we said was the mother of all mix-ups because he gave those cards to the wrong women. Nick said, quote, one baby mama reads the card about how I feel about the other baby mama. Abby De La Rosa, who mothers three of Cannon's children and is a co-host on his podcast with him, responded with a long audible, wow, which I'm pretty sure is what anyone would say in that scenario. Guys. Well, that's the start of what they would say, I would imagine. Start of what they would say, right. yes. Right. Uh, <laughs> the start, I would say, is what are these shenanigans? <laughs> like, no, sir. I mean, he's just seeing what he can get away with at this point. Because <laughs> you've had the waters. ten kids. Yeah, test the waters. See who you can make mad. But black women aren't the ones you want to start with. <laughs> My goodness. So what, do you, what do you think? I mean, he did have a baby with all of them, so uh, they're a little bit intimate. I don't know what they get mad about now. Yeah. They got a card mix up, but right. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, Next I, time, just type the same thing over and over again and just sign their names so at the top. So you say go the generic route. Go the generic route. You don't have to worry about that. And then everybody gets a mixed up card, and it doesn't matter. Wow. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm, wow. I'm a problem solver. Yes, you are. <laughs> wow. The problem solve is Sounding stop. Like just stop having kids juggled. with all these women. I, I mean, I feel like if you are in this deep with Nick Cannon and the right multiple baby mamas and all mm -hmm. that, you manage your expectations. Yes. So this is just kind of par for the course, mm -hmm. right? At least you got a Mother's Day card. Can't get mad. <laughs> I'm just saying, right? Just look at the bright side, silver lining, mm -hmm. and that's it. You could be like, I don't have your boy, I have your girl, but I still have your child. So Here's the thing, though. Nick Cannon has no shame about putting all of this uh, out there, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's never like we find this out from someone else. We find out <laughs> right directly from, from the man <laughs> himself. He knows I, how to keep himself in the headlines. I will say it does make you result. wonder. I hope this isn't just the stuff that he chooses to share, and there's much worse he's holding back. I, I'm hoping this is the worst of it. It has to be for attention. I think he wants yeah, to be I like for so men beating his chest. Like, I'm out here just <laughs> acting a fool, right, a clown right. fool. Like, for real. Yes. <laughs> Look what I can do. <laughs> Look what I can do. A whole clown. Yes. Circus. All right, guys. Next up, we've got a follow to a story we told you about yesterday. And we're talking about Jonathan Majors and Megan Good. There are rumors that they are in a relationship amid his legal battles. Now fans are expressing some concern over the relationship, many saying it's actually just a PR stunt. Social media all abuzz with people saying Megan has been in the game for too long to fall for this type of stunt. Others say Jonathan Majors is working on his, quote, redemption arc by dating Megan. So do you guys think this is just part of an little PR campaign to try to clean up his image, or do you think there's something actually serious? I there? don't think so. I mean, I love Megan. Mm -hmm. um, she has had her own dating past in history mm -hmm. that people have judged her about. Um, this might be a dynamic that is like, hey, let's both try to, you know, clear the waters and smooth mm -hmm. over what people have said about both of them. Hmm. What do you think? I think they're just friends. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I genuinely... <laughs> I said it yesterday. This is just so random. I have no theories. Mm. I have no explanations, no opinions. I'm just going to let this, I'm going to just give it some time mm. and we'll Bene see what comes beneficial out. Beneficial friends, maybe? Yeah. Benefits. Who benefits more from the other? <laughs> I mean, I, who needs more? It, Hey, we will revisit this we once we have more We will revisit this scenario. I'll save you guys from yourselves. All right. Please. But speaking wisdom of just friends, here's two people's names I didn't uh -oh. necessarily think I would say in the same sentence. Okay. We're talking about Kim Kardashian um, on one hand, and we're talking about Tom Brady oh, no. on the other. But sources say 
we're only talking about friendship here. This is actually more of a real estate transaction, okay? Not a relationship. Sources tell Page Six, Kim took a trip to the Bahamas last weekend in order to check out the Bakers Bay Golf and Ocean Club. It's an exclusive members-only community where Brady also has a home. Wisdom, you might be able to tell us a little more about this. Kim reportedly asked Tom for advice about the area, but there's no romance between the two. Kim has been considering a vacation home for a while now. If she moves to Bakers Bay, she'll be surrounded by other celebrity neighbors, including Jennifer Lopez, huh. Michael Jordan, Justin Timberlake, and Reese Witherspoon. I asked you wisdom because I'm just talking about exclusivity, and we know <laughs> those are the kind of circles you run in. Right, right. I mean, if there's anyone who can give us the exclusive tea, it's wisdom. So what you know? Uh, 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 Jim Roll, please. Right, right, right. <laughs> First of all, who are your neighbors? I'm sure. <laughs> can you, do you know them? I know it's, a, it's all, a large property. Yeah. So. First of all, first of all, there's nothing here. It's just it's just business between those two. Okay. It's just business. Yeah. Well, Kim she's, she's is my favorite. I love Miss Kim K. Right. And she was just noticed or spotted at the Lakers game sitting on front row seats. So oh. supposedly she might be dating someone. With the oh, Lakers? On the Lakers. So yeah. Who? Keep it up. We don't know. I mean, Kim, she's Let me go down the roster full right of quick, surprises, right? but mm -hmm. our girl. This is all intentional. All right, Kris <laughs> Jenner. Kris Jenner's behind this. She wants folks to, folks to start talking again about something different. She might sure. have a product coming out. Yeah. So this is all intentional. And clearly you're falling through it because he's going through <laughs> all the stuff. players' names. I'm on, uh, I'm on toes. I'm ask on. your neighbors. I'm sure they know. Anthony Davis. She's there for Anthony Davis. Think about it. Think okay. about it. Anthony Davis is, a, is one of the best players on All the right. Lakers, right? All right, Justin. Okay. He Season always stays hurt. <laughs> just <gonna> completely <laughs> That's the Kardashian what? way. You, you're a star, you get hurt, and then boom. Oh. Season three of the Kardashians drops May 25th. Yes, Anthony you're welcome. Davis. Yes. Uh, coming straight from uh, Chris. Your neighbors ain't helpful at all right now. They didn't tell you nothing? Nothing. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> he doesn't have any neighbors. I'm that's joking. that's I'm level. Joking. Right? I'm I want to get to the point where I'm I have kidding. no neighbors. That was a joke. Was, was it? Joke? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you. Oh my God! As always, good to see you. We Hope will to see, you. see you. Kitchen cocktails coming to DC June 15. June 15. Yes. Okay. Right. I'll be there with all my rowdy friends. Bring your invisible neighbors. <laughs> Holly, we'll send it over to you. All right.